I wonder which dev laughed for that uh, recording. Hmm. Because apparently, for a lot of the old like uh, voice acting for like Peach and shit, and shit, mm. it was just like uh, the female developer who like recorded the lines or something. Wake up, mm. Goldie, the chosen one. I forget the name. <laughs> the prophecy. God damn it! I was having a good dream. <laughs> the prophecy. <laughs> Man, talk about a wet dream. Oh, oh fuck you. Yeah. Riley, Riley, no. <laughs> Just go to the fucking corner. I never leave the corner. You won't let me leave. Hey, Riley. Hey, oh, there he is. Hey, Riza. Hey, Burb. E. Ra Ru? Ra Ru? How the f- What is- Ra Ru. <sighs> There's Rawr. that, and there's also in uh, Link to the Past, Sahara Shiel, or, or however that name is spelled. That sounds right. like uwu talk when you say Raru like that. Raru. Raru? Raru? See? See? I am Raru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance of the Sacred Realm. This is the Chamber of Sages inside the Temple of Light. He is an amazing mutton chop. Oh, Magical Star Flash, <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah, just typical what Magical stuff Star Flash said. Yeah, I can't see the chat. Um... <laughs> It said, well, sorry, Goldie, but we had to interrupt your dream about you and Key and made outfits because you got to save the world. Oh, gee. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The sage looks like if Wilford Brimley had a, had a fucking mutton chop. Diabetes. Anyway, the Temple no, of Light, really. situated in the very center of the Sacred Realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. Why don't I give him this grumpy voice? The Master Sword... He's a the old, evil <laughs> destroying sword that you pulled down of the pedestal of time was the final key to the sacred realm. Goldie, <laughs> don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. <laughs> oh look, he went through puberty. <laughs> <laughs> Why are my emotions so confusing all of a sudden? <laughs> Fuck off, no! <laughs> oh, hi, man. Oh, the Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title, Hero of Time, can pull off the pe pull it from the pedestal of time. Or, or Link just has strong arms. However, you were too young to be the hero of time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. <laughs> and now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the hero of time. Well, do you understand your destiny? No. You stole my <laughs> childhood. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to fight with Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there so much hair in these weird places? <laughs> Through, though you open the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power, he became the king of evil. His evil power radiates from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into the world of monsters. My power is now only little influence even in this sacred realm. Namely, this chamber of sages. I'll be back. Okay. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, 
The stage's seat will contain all the evil powers in the void of the realm. I, whatever name that is, am one of the sages. <laughs> Rauru. Rauru. And? XD Rauru. The <laughs> power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you and find the power of the other sages and add their might to your own. Oh, yeah! oh what the <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> Some weird scream I had to make. Why? Because, why not? Why? I'm <laughs> just that type of person who gives zero fucks, so... Why? You Don't receive like the down. Oh. Ruru, the sa uh, sage adds his power to yours. Yeah. Oh, look, Kinstone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it is a Kinstone! <laughs> Find the other sages and save Hyrule! <laughs> it does look like Kinstone. <laughs> what, if, what if those were always preludes to the Kinstones? I... He can never escape from Golden. <laughs> Poor Golden. You see, Kinstones were part of Zelda all along. Fuck you. <laughs> Golden, we're back in the Temple of Time, but have seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. Oh. Boy, you want something? What up? I've been waiting for you, hero of time. <laughs> when Eve rule rules all, an awakening <laughs> voice from the sacred realm will... We need an appropriate voice for this. Oh, okay. I'm back. Hmm... Since we know the secret behind this s s s chat, this masked person, Valley Girl Chic, <laughs> like <laughs> oh my God, when evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm oh will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. I am going to jump off a fucking building now. <laughs> <laughs> Permission to hit him with this cup of coffee. Permission cabin. granted. Splash it in his face. All right. Hey, Riley. <laughs> I actually hurt. Ow. <laughs> well, all seriousness, we're not going to do that voice. No, let's, let's give it the voice it deserves. One in a deep forest. One on a high mountain. One under a vast lake. One within the house of the dead. Oh, shit. One inside a goddess of the sand. What the hell? <laughs> Shoot, no, what the dick did you get that? Okay. Um, they sent me those. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to say, out of context, this screenshot looks interesting. One inside a goddess <laughs> of the sand. <laughs> Under the silver lake? <laughs> A.K. when you see Andrew Garfield beat up kids. Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Shika. Shika. Is that how you pronounce it? Shika. Shika. -ka. I think it's Shika. I could just imagine if Solo were here, he'd use that one sound clip where it goes on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that fucking slaughtered me when he was playing that. <laughs> I am Shika, survivor of the Shikas. <laughs> 
as I see you standing there holding the mythical master, yeah, the mythical master sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl I'm sure you know. <laughs> because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot bear... Or was it here? No. She cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But if you believe what I am saying, you should head to Kak... Kak... Kakariko Village. Kakarot! Kakarot! Kakarot Village. Kakariko Village. You understand, Goldie. Oh. I think well, I... fuck you, then. <laughs> I was about to say, he's like, I think I got everything, but just in case, can you repeat all that? <laughs> <laughs> can you repeat the question? No. God no! damn it! No! Shikakakaka, I am already regretted. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, anyway, God, it, hold that yep. thought. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to hell. It looks like it went from just Legend of Zelda to fucking like Resident Evil. No, you I know? was about to. I was about to say, <laughs> ah, so this is Legend of Zelda crossing over into Silent Hill. Cool. <laughs> Honestly, still a um. Still a somewhat better adaptation than the Paul W. Sanderson film. Da 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 da. <laughs> I have plans. I, mean, I have plans of reviewing that movie and just like tearing it apart. Can okay, you maybe. still call it Pona? Oh, hang on. Uh, let's see. How did it go? <laughs> Oh, now where the hell are you? We need you! Oh. <laughs> no pumps. No horse! Aww. <laughs> I so. guess I have to go to Lawn Lawn Ranch again. Probably. Yep. Also, I, you, we can pretty much always shit on the Paul Wes Anderson Resident Evil movies, but we can still agree that the, um... The laser scene is still the only good thing about that movie. Even it's the, the most lasers, memorable scene from even, the entire series. Even the laser scene just didn't feel right. It's like, so you have this laser that goes across, and then it moves up when it tries to evade it, and then it forms into a net. I'm sorry, why wouldn't it just form into a net in the first place? It felt like a... I mean, it was a cool scene, but I feel like it was just put there for pandering, I guess. Yeah. Like, oh, you, remember, this is Resident Evil, this is Resident Evil, look at them doing this, is it cool? No. No, because that's no. not what happened in the game. Ah, but let's remember, he just wanted to show off his wife. No shit. His, he comes up with a dumbass excuse saying, oh, because everybody played the game, there's no tension on who's going to live or who's going to die. No, not everybody has, and for those who played it, maybe they want to re-experience it in a movie format? Wasn't there Ahem. somebody said something similar recently, and it was like some similar stupid shit? I can't remember. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was the guy who was directed the Last of Us series. Oh yeah. There's a difference between doing different adaptations, it's you know, to kind of give... Yeah, it's, it's a not... different... E? Sorry. Yeah, it's... Sorry, you were saying... I was saying, because there's a difference between, because, like, I don't mind it when people are doing different spins on, you know, the material they're given. But there's, there is a difference between giving something a different spin versus just not just not doing it to the point where it's a different property oh, within itself. Right. Mm. I mean, look at, 
let's look at two examples. We have the Mario movie, which everyone says is good because it actually feels and it looks like a Mario movie. And everything about it is pretty close to the Mario games. Then you have the soon-to-be-coming-out Five Nights at Freddy's movie, which, yes, the we know the trailer got leaked. We don't need to be told. <laughs> which, mm. even though that one is, even though that one is going to tell its own different story, you can still look at it and go, "Okay, this definitely looks like Five Nights at Freddy's." I can't do that with the Resident Evil movies because you look at Alice and go, "Oh, she's a character from the video game." No, she's not. There is Honestly, no Leon. I didn't even get into the Resident Evil games until like last year when I started playing eight, and then I played seven, and that was good too. And now I'm waiting to play four when that goes on sale. I mean, that revival with it because of um, Lady <laughs> Dana Madrescu made things a lot better for people. Well, and seven, too. seven, Lady name. yeah, and it was Sorry, seven. I don't know how to pronounce it, so. Seven was like the real resurgence of the series. Like they put it in first person, they they amped up the horror, and then eight was really good follow up. Honestly, mm -hmm. I heard that's what I remember. Seven was definitely like a good like. I guess it made it reminded it reminded people that's what was Resident Evil in the first place, and then eight just made it incredibly entertaining again. Yeah, I like I like the uh, horror puzzle solving stuff when I at least when I played the games. I think. The uh, Resident Evil 7 is like six bucks on Steam right now. Ooh. I'm hoping that's what they end up doing with with uh, Silent Hill with the upcoming video games. Oh, Hopefully. wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Um, hang on. Do not summon the dead, Golden. Summon the dead, Golden. No, he does. He doesn't even have the book to. He doesn't have the Necronomicon to summon a deadite. Clo, Clo to Barada Nicto. That's Damn. from. That's from fucking the day the horse stood still. What? Oh what? yeah, I need to. I need to see that new Evil Dead movie. Apparently, it's Damn, pretty good. Have the it's good. I heard it's good. Yeah. Oh wait, okay. no, it's uh something else. Um, I need to see it with Wolfhead. I don't think he needs to kind of watch all the other Evil Dead movies. Maybe I could play that for, like, Halloween time. Oh, speaking of which, you guys need to see Renfield. No, thanks. It, it, well, I know. You does. You probably won't. I'm not Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks Man. for the offer, though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's so, like, to for for han fans of horror and like action and stuff, uh, okay, I, I would definitely me. recommend Renfield with Nicolas Cage's Dracula. Okay, so grave robbing, Golden. Yes, Golden is grave robbing. <laughs> this could have this could have fooled me. Triforce. I'm sorry. I was normally adapted to just like thinking, oh, with the Triforce, you play the Song of Time or you play Zelda's Lullaby. <laughs> It's okay, you're just grave robbing. Uh, otherwise known as archaeology. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Young man, are you fast enough on your feet? I may not look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you dare. Why did Follow you make him me. sound like Seth Rogen with a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. God damn Set it. Me free. Follow me. Trust me, and we will escape from the city. I remember that Markiplier actually saying that in one of his horror video games. I swear if Sonic 3 ends with, like, an orchestral version of uh, Live and Learn, I will cry in the theater. That will be fun. That would be definitely funny. I wouldn't oh, say God funny. God damn it, I got to a dead end. I think he may have faded into... Even when done intangible, pro probably. 